Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Here we're solving an inequality where the unknown is on both sides. So we've got 7n plus 8 is greater than 3n minus 10. Now previously when we've looked at inequalities, we've said that it's a good idea to treat them as if they're equations. So instead of having the greater than symbol there, we're kind of thinking what would we do if there was an equals there? So long as you don't divide or multiply by a negative number, then that's all fine, and so long as you don't swap the sides of the inequality. So that means that we would be thinking of making sure that we get the both ends on the left-hand side without having to divide by a negative. So that means the first thing we're going to do is subtract 3n from both sides. So let's just write that down so that we've got that clearly stated. So 7n minus 3n plus 8 is greater than 3n minus 3n minus 10. So we've done the same to both sides. We've subtracted 3n. So that means we've got 4n plus 8 is greater than negative 10. And then we want the uh, 4n to be on its own. So we want to subtract 8 from both sides. So we've got 4n is greater than negative 10, take away 8. So 4n is greater than negative 18. So dividing both sides by 4, so that's a positive number, so we've got no problems with doing that. So that gives us n is greater than minus 4.5. And then we'd want to do our two checks. So first of all, we think about what happens when n is actually equal to minus 4.5. So I know that um, we've got n has got to be greater than minus 4.5, but we should find that if we've done this correctly, that when n is actually equal to minus 4.5, then 7n plus 8 is actually equal to 3n minus 10. So let's see what we get. So the left-hand side would be equal to 7 times negative 4.5 plus 8. So that gives us minus 31.5 plus 8. So that's going to be minus 23.5. And the right-hand side, well, that's going to be 3 times negative 4.5. Subtract 10. So that's minus 13.5, take away 10, so that's also minus 23.5. So that's a good start. So we know that negative 4.5 is the right value there. The next thing that we want to check is that we've got the symbol correct. We want to make sure that it should be greater than rather than less than. So we can choose any value greater than negative 4.5. And the really simple one to check would be 0. And when n is 0, the left-hand side, so that's 7n plus 8, so well, 7 times 0 is, uh, is 0, and so we end up with the left-hand side being equal to 8. Right-hand side, just as easy, we've got 3 times 0, subtract 10, so that's going to be equal to negative 10. And we've got that 8 is greater than negative 10. So our answer is correct. 